Wow, is there some fur flying in the House Republican Caucus? Um, as we've talked a little bit about before, former House Speaker Gene Chandler became House Republican leader in a very competitive race against former Deputy Speaker Pam Tucker. It's no secret Pam Tucker was supported by former House Speaker Bill O'Brien, who didn't want a leadership position after Republicans lost control last November. But we saw with the gas tax debate that some conservatives are very unhappy with Chandler's leadership. What we saw was only 15 Republicans supported the 83% tax increase on the gas tax last week, but two of them were in Chandler's leadership. Uh, Deputy Republican Leader David Hess from Hooksett and um, Republican Whip uh, Sean Jasper of Hudson. And the emails were flying after Sean Jasper took to the floor and basically uh, called former House Speaker Bill O'Brien a liar about how he was interpreting the Constitution, that he was saying things that were flat out untrue. That's kind of heresy in the House Republican Caucus. Bill O'Brien still remains pretty popular among that group, certainly not among the whole House, but he has a lot of support in the Republican caucus. There, were, there was whispering certainly in the corridors about whether there has to be, there may be an attempt by members of the House Republican Alliance that Pam Tucker's now a co-leader of to try and remove Jasper from House Republican leadership. Even some long-term looking to replace Chandler with Pam Tucker as House Republican leader. I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon, but it speaks to what I was talking about. This fissure that has occurred in the House Republican caucus is very real and really worth watching in the weeks ahead.